Good afternoon. In a few moments, Doug and I will plant a tree here on the grounds of the residence of the Vice President of the United States. And we dedicate this tree to the 1,200 innocent souls in an act of pure evil on October 7, 2023, who were massacred by Hamas terrorists. 46 of our fellow Americans were killed in this brutal terrorist attack including a singer from Missouri who died shielding her son from bullets, an academic and peace activist who studied in Seattle and who was the grandson of Holocaust survivors, and a dancer from California who was killed alongside her fiance while attending the Nova Music Festival. I am devastated by the pain and loss that occurred on October 7. And Doug and I pray for the family and loved ones of all of those who were lost. And may their memories be a blessing. Today I know many Jews will be reciting and reflecting on the Jewish prayer for mourning, the Kaddish. The words of the prayer are not about death. It is a prayer about our enduring belief in God, even in our darkest moments. So as we reflect on the horrors of October 7, let us please be reminded that we cannot lose faith. The Jewish philosopher, Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel, wrote, and I quote, religion begins with a consciousness that something is asked of us. So in this moment, on the one year commemoration of October 7, what, it, what is asked of us? What is asked of us? First and foremost, I believe that we must never forget. I will never forget October 7, and the world must never forget. What is asked of us? We must work to ensure nothing like the horrors of October 7 can ever happen again. And on this solemn day, I will restate my pledge to always ensure that Israel has what it needs to defend itself and that I will always work to ensure the safety and security of the Jewish people here and around the world. What is asked of us? We must reunite the hostages held in Gaza with their families, and I will never stop fighting for the release of all the hostages, including the American citizens living and deceased. Omer. Idan, Sagi, Keith, Judy, God, and Ite. What is asked of us? We must uphold the commitment to repair the world, an idea that has been passed on throughout generations of the Jewish people and across many faiths. And to that end, we must work to relieve the immense suffering of innocent Palestinians in Gaza who have experienced so much pain and loss over the year. What is asked of us? We must continue to see light amidst the darkness. As the late Rabbi Jonathan Sachs said, a people that can walk through the valley of the shadow of death and still rejoice is a people that cannot be defeated by any force or fear. That is why today we plant a pomegranate tree, which in Judaism is a symbol of hope and righteousness. So for years to come, this pomegranate tree will stand here, spreading its roots and growing stronger to remind future vice presidents of the United States, their families, and all who pass through these grounds 
not only of the horror of October 7th, but the strength and the endurance of the Jewish people. It will remind us all not to abandon the goal of peace, dignity, and security for all. And it will remind us all to always have faith. Thank you, and I will now turn it over to the second gentleman, my husband, Doug. Thank you. As we gather here today on what was the deadliest day for Jewish people since the Holocaust, I am still filled with pain and despair. This is an incredibly challenging day for Jews around the world, myself included. October 7th hit us hard as a community. We are still hurting. And today feels just as raw as it did one year ago. What happened on October 7th is seared into our souls. I can't stop thinking about the hostages and their families and all of those we've lost over the past year. Earlier today, I attended AJC's National October 7th Memorial Commemoration at Six and I, and I recited a prayer for peace that we all see the day soon when this war and bloodshed come to an end. As the first Jewish spouse of an American president or vice president, I take this role very seriously. Kamala is the one who encouraged me to use my platform I have to fight against anti-Semitism and hate. She's also the person who encouraged me to lean into my Jewish faith. When we first moved into this residence, we affixed a mezuzah on the doorpost with our family present. Now, as we prepare to leave a legacy of our time here, we plant this pomegranate tree to honor this solemn day and for the families who will come after us to enjoy. This is the first tree we've planted since we moved in here, and it'll be the first fruit tree ever planted by a second family at the residence. Colin and I are proud to continue a tradition with this symbolic meaning for every family that's lived here and who will live here. And it is especially meaningful to me that this property will now always commemorate the pain of the Jewish people as well as the resilience and hope of the Jewish people. May the memory of those we've lost be a blessing. Thank you.
federal government withstand Milton without additional funding.